Hey everybody, welcome to Agent Mastermind, another session, day before the 4th of July, and I sincerely appreciate you guys joining us today. I know that a lot of us are on vacation, a lot of us are probably, hopefully, watching from the beach, the motel, wherever you're at, but we have an awesome, unbelievable class for you guys today with Ross Hare. He is the um, owner, creator of Social Media Director and Social Media Marketing Camp. He's also an author and national speaker. His passion is helping real estate agents grow their business. And today, I'm thoroughly excited because he's going to share with us how, to, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ross, but how to get free deals right now from Facebook. Yep. Yeah, no, absolutely, Scott. I'm going to show you straight away. And when I say how to get three deals, I'm going to show you three ways to get new business starting right now on Facebook. And I can tell you that within 15 minutes of this call ending, you'll be able to find your first new client uh, or Scott will eat his hat. Oh, all right. And I got a leather one sitting right here and I hate all right. leather. I hate leather. So, all right. Excellent. So, so yeah, man, go ahead and jump right in. I got my notepad because I don't want to miss anything. And um, we are recording this, if that's okay with you, Ross. Yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, good. All right, cool. So, All right, um, Scott. So, yeah, you know, I mean, thanks to you and thanks to Paul. I mean, I know what an amazing group you guys have. It's, uh, it's kind of a privilege for me to speak to your group. I know what the marketing animals and, and, and the like is. So it's been, you know, people talk about you guys all the time. And, and I also know that you've got a great crowd of people in the specific niche that I'm interested in, which is the real estate industry. So, you know, not only, you know, I mean, thank you for that nice introduction about all the social media stuff, but I can tell you that my, my first passion and my real, my main business is I want to be in the real estate industry. So I have a real estate license, I'm a real estate broker, I'm a real estate investor, and I was actually a, a pretty significant real estate investor through the end of the, kind of the crash of the new housing market in 2008. Uh, where I was moving a lot of houses and kind of when that all went away, when the new builders stopped building because I was flipping all their stuff for them, uh, when that all went away, I really tried to work out where to go next and I kind of failed at short sales. It was just, I just didn't like it. I thought, you know what, where can I get in front of the curve so I can do a massive amount of deals later and I decided it was social media and uh, I got in quite early, so basically 2008, I really started to get into social media, and that's kind of got me into a position now where I've got these massive networks all around the country, and I'm actually trying to do real estate business all over the nation again right now, so that's pretty exciting right there. So, is, let, so let me just, yeah. yeah. All right, Scott, so I'll just jump in. I mean, I'll just kind of really ham it there. First of all, did everybody just see my page change there <laughs> in that little question good. box? Just yep. write there. Just write the word face, so then I know that you saw that in there. So can you see that? Everyone's writing face in there. Can you see that, Scott? Yes, sir. I can see it. I can. See All right, it. guys. I love it. Great. Right. All right. So you know, this is if you're doing this, you're doing it wrong. Obviously, I mean, it's just got to start with some humor, right? My name's Ross Hare, and I'm, I'm bald, so I've got to laugh at something, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So why social media? So let's just. We look at that real quickly. Well, you'll see all the numbers and everything, but the bottom line is really this, is your customers hang out in social networks. So everybody's online. Most of the, your local population is on Facebook, as an example, and uh, you can, there's a way for you to connect with them, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it in a way that's just never been possible in your real estate business before. So just a couple of quick things. That's Chuck Marundi. Uh, he's a great guy. He gets everything from his online marketing now. Sharon McNamara came to one of my calls one day, and a year later, she's got 25 agents working for her. She opened up a brokerage. She went and she just and she used social media just to connect with the entire town. So actually, she's a local celebrity now up in the Boston area. And this is Keith and Sharon French, who are real estate investors and that, who just doubled their their income basically through real estate, uh, video marketing, through social media, and through just spreading the word out. So the point is I'm trying to tell you now, and I'm not trying to convince you of this, I'm just telling you that it works. You can connect with your target market online and on social networks right now, and there's a couple of little stories there for you to kind of see real people who are actually doing it, right? But Chuck why would you use it? Hey, yeah. just so you know, Chuck was actually on a class with us quite a while ago, but yeah, I know, I've, I've, I've talked to him many times. He's an unbelievable guy, man. So yeah, uh, He's a great, a great guy. I love great Chuck. Great to associate with, yeah. 
yeah, he just sits up there in, in kind of Port Washington right. Squim and uh, yeah. Port Los so Port Angeles Squim, and he just he just does great business. You know, yeah. he's a, he's a very very cool guy. So why for why real estate and social media? What's the kind of special connection there? Well, for me, it's because you can connect with local residents. All right, so you can connect with families, you can connect with other professionals and small business owners, and you can just connect with everybody in your local area. And it's kind of like this. I kind of think of this as like the holy grail here, Scott, which is where, you know, what if you could connect with every local homeowner and instantly send them a message anytime and as often as you want to then do it all for free. That's the kind of part that I really think about. And you can do that with social networks. Now, I'm not telling you that social media and social networking is the only way to do it, because that's not the case at all. You know, if I had a, a large budget, and I would definitely like to just buy the leads, right? Because it's much right. easier. I write a check, I get the lead, and I try and convert it into business. But I understand that most of us don't have that. And of course, you know, sorry guys, I realize even with my funny accent here, I've also got a little bit of a summer cold. And what's with that? A summer cold, yeah. are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you know, 103 <laughs> degrees with a summer oh, cold, no. that just makes me mad. Yeah, right? yeah. Anyway, so what if you could connect with everybody, right? And you could do it for free. Well, that's what it affords any of us who's willing to put the time and put the kind of the effort into building out a large social network because you can go, once you're connected with somebody, you can message them anytime. And for me, not only do I want to message people one by one, but I want to message them all at one time. So for me, leveraging my time is a huge part of this because I think with social media, time is just your biggest enemy. Right? So basically, when I break it all down, I've never seen a lead generation machine like this. And I've done radio shows, I've run real estate investment clubs, um, I've done seminars like crazy, because I like to try and pack a room so I can get as many people in, so I can give my message out once, because I know that's going to convert into sales. I know I'm going to be seen as an authority figure and as a leader, so I know all that stuff. But I've never seen anything like social media, because now I can literally meet a million people. I mean, I have over a million friends and followers and fans and people who are members of my groups and pages. I have over a thousand pages all over Facebook and a thousand groups, you know, where I'm connecting with people on local levels. And it's just crazy, crazy stuff, right? So it's kind of like just, it's just networking 101. It's just done on steroids. So the tip I want to give you right now is that everything is moving local. So just like blogging is becoming hyper-local, advertising is hyper-local, all these real local deals you're seeing from like Groupons and Living Social and companies like that, social networking is moving that way as well. People are just very interested in what's happening in their immediate local area. So here's what I'm going to do today is three things. I'm going to show you how to find clients on social networks. I'm going to show you kind of my three favorite ways, and I'll give you like a short, medium, and kind of more of a long-term strategy so you can get that all done today. All right, that's me. That's my page. Sorry, my picture up in the top there. I said, my name is Ross Hare. I'm bald. I wrote that big old course just so you know who's speaking to you, and I do run this event called SMM Camp where we do a lot of, we bring in a lot of people from the real estate industry. Um, and you know, real people who are using social media and they talk. So like Chuck Marindi, uh, it's exactly guy Chuck was one of the guys that spoke at our events about exactly how he does it. So they're real people, that's kind of the, the real deal. Uh, when is your next event coming up? Uh, it'll be in a, probably in about about a month from now, Scott. Okay. Uh, but you know, just just you know jump onto to Facebook and you know and if you like what we're gonna say, just go and hit that old like button and Perfect. kinda like the page, right? All right. There we go. So facebook.com forward slash SMM camp. All right, now I want to give you one power tip right now that I really want you to write down before we do anything else. And I can tell you it's this. Just get an email address. All right, so build a massive local email list. And I know we're talking about social media marketing here, but I actually have one goal with my marketing, which is that I want to use all these connections. I want to get a way to send somebody a message. All right, so when it's all said and done, I want your email address basically. Now I can send you a message through Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter, or if I've got your email address and I've got it in my email manager, like Aweber or Constant Contact or MailChimp, I know that I can basically send you a message at any time. If I abuse that privilege, of course you will just unsubscribe from me, so it's not quite as simple as that. But that's what I really want you to think about. Get an email address, do it every day, 
Whenever someone phones you, get their email address, get their phone number. They respond to anything, get their details, and then start to add them into your email list and invite them to Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. All right? So let's talk about three ways. Okay. Way number one is you need to engage with people, and you, people will have, you know, there's many gurus who talk about this. I'll give you some specific stuff. Right. Way number two is you need to connect with your community. And then specifically, I'm going to quickly show you a strategy that we use with pages and groups, how we can really connect with people in a mass way. And then strategy number three is if you just listen to what people are saying, right, you can find deals right now within 15 minutes of you leaving. So I've got 90 slides here and 45 minutes to get through them. So I'm going to absolutely jump into them right now. The third one, listen, is the one I want you to do today. Right, without anything, because people right now are saying, I want to move to the name of your town. Right? I need to find somewhere to stay in the name of your town. Right? The people that are saying this right now, I am hunting for an apartment. All right? I'm going to be going to school at the university of in your town. People are saying that right now, and I want to show you the tools you need to get them. You can also do major, major things like promotion ads and applications. But that's pretty technical, and I'm definitely not going to cover that here. So let's just talk about engagement. Right? So here's the bottom line that you need to understand, is that the friends are the building blocks of social media. So you have to go out from your personal profile, so you open up an account on Facebook, and you have to reach out to people and become friends with them. Because when you become friends with them, it completely opens up the line of communication between you, that person, and their extended network. So the reason that there are almost a billion members on Facebook is because they have this incredibly viral kind of situation, right? Where they have all these tools where people become friends and information spreads and, and it's incredible. It's just a big user generated communication platform. Well you can take advantage of that and the first step is to become friends. So my first tip to you today is make five thousand friends. That's what you're allowed. Make five thousand friends I'm not going to show you how to do that, but just generally start to engage and connect with people and make 5,000 friends because there's so many rewards for you for doing that. And the way that you make 5,000 friends is you engage with people online. So you find people in your local area and you reach out to them and you start to communicate and engage with them. And it's basically just networking 101. It's like meeting somebody at the local coffee shop or at some event at your kid's school where you're both standing in the stands and your kids are playing football together or something and you turn around to each other and say, hey, how are you doing? You know, I'm Ross. So, yeah, great. Nice to meet you. Yeah, what do you do? Who's your kid? You know, it's just exactly the same thing. It's just happening online. So just get really, really busy and post and comment and like other people's stuff and reach out to them and just generally be you. Be a nice person reaching out and being friendly to people that you're just meeting for the first time. And before you know it, you will have a massive list of friends. And when you have a massive list of friends, when I say friends, I'm talking about people who live in your local area. When you have that, you'll have a massive network that you can reach into and get business from all the time. Right? So Ross, again, Ross, it's really I, pretty simple. Ross, what I heard yeah. on this is you, I mean, the, the, this is the new door knocking. It is. I mean, it's just, just knocking on someone's door and, and, and introducing yourself. Hey, where do you get to school? I mean, that's the new, instead of actually walking, you just stay right here on your computer. Yeah. I mean, just think of it being like meeting new people in real life. It's exactly. just, it's just there. You know, you don't, you don't throw your hand out to them and say, hi, I'm Scott. Uh, can I have your business? No, yeah, you throw right. your hand out and say, hey, I'm Scott. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, you, you know, you know what, what class is your kid in? You know, um, how long have you lived in, in Boulder? I live in Boulder, Colorado. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then before you know it, they'll ask those same questions back. Oh, what do you do? You know, so then they'll tell you what they do and then they'll ask you what you do and now they know that you're a realtor or you're in the real estate business or the mortgage business and you know the relationship has started. So just be just use common sense. Okay. Facebook really rewards engagement. And as I said to you, the more friends you have, the bigger the rewards. So as an example, one of those is that you can then when you set up a group for a neighborhood or something in your town, you can automatically add all your Facebook friends to that group. So if you've got 5,000 friends mm -hmm. all living within kind of 15 miles radius of you in your town, and you can add them into a group, now you can send a message to all the group members 
and it's basically 5,000 people that you can send to at the push of a button that costs you nothing. Isn't that an incredibly yeah. valuable marketing yeah. tool? Yeah. Okay. So the cool thing about Facebook, like I said, is it's viral. That news feed is crazy. So when you engage and you constantly interact and reach out to people, they start to see your picture, your name. They can interact with you in all these kind of social plug-in ways, right? And when they do that, that shares it with their extended network. You can link to your groups. You can send them back to your blogs. All these links are there. I mean, it's just an unbelievable opportunity for you to reach everybody in your town. You just have to be a little bit socially savvy. So just engage with people. Be great to them. There's the technical reason. It's called edge rank, right? So Facebook, basically, everything you post, they don't show to everybody, right? They kind of they, they filter the information based on what they think is relevant to other people. Okay, so these are Facebook's rules, and you have to kind of abide by them. So basically, if you post, it doesn't mean they'll see it, right? So you know, here's a great example of this. You can post something. You can now pay to promote your post. So look at this. Here's a little post that we put out. Um, I put it out on one of our SMM camp pages, and I basically, they, Facebook tells me that this post that I sent, this is Carlos Reyna. Uh, he's a, a um, he's a real estate agent with the Good Life team in Austin, Texas. Many of you will have heard of Christina Wise and the Good Life team now, and he's also an Emmy Award winner, by the way, which is pretty cool. But anyway, so he went and he spoke at one of our events. I put a posting out there about it, and 1,300 people reached. Uh, which tells me, and Facebook tells me that's 19% of the audience of this page actually got to, that actually saw, well, actually this post got posted on their page, right? So that's, a, and what they're not telling you is that if only 19% saw it, that means 81% were not reached. Okay, so basically one in five people that I'm connected to actually saw or actually received this post. They may not even have seen it, right, or read it. Okay, so it's crazy. You have to engage all the time because that's Facebook's rules. So if you want to be successful, you have to reach out and engage and interact with people and just comment on their stuff, like their stuff, share their stuff. Uh, they love that kind of behavior and Facebook rewards it heavily. So tip really number one that I'm telling you is that if you want to get new business today on Facebook, and I think of this as kind of like a medium term strategy, you need to engage with people. But I'm sure you've heard that before, right? It's, it's there. Uh, in particular, you really need to get them to do certain things on your page and on your profile and in your groups. You need them to like things, you need them to post comments, and you need them to share things, right? So one of the, as an example, this is Christy Owen's page for 365 Things to Do in Austin, Texas. Right? She's a real estate agent in Austin, Texas. She set up this page, and every day she posts something new, something cool to do in Austin. Now, if you've been to Austin, it's such a cool city that there's just no shortage of things to write about. But the point is, she created this page that the community loves. She has 180, well, 193,000 plus people connected to it who have liked the page. She gets over a million visitors to the page a week. Wow. All right, A week, over a million people come and look at it. And she has used this to turn it into a thriving business for herself. Right? It's Perfect. And look what happens though. She's really look, using these three tools very, very effectively. She's getting people to like, she's getting people to comment, and she's getting people to share her stuff. So here's a little post, it's a little contest saying name this place and I'll give you some tickets. Right? So it's a little friendly competition in there. And look what happens. 484 people like it, 2,800 people posted comments on it. 56 people shared it. It's just one cool little picture of a kid going down a water slide, right? Yeah. But what it's doing is it's connecting her to that entire community. And so what she's really saying to them is, look, I'm a part of this community. I know the community. I love this community. And when you want to do some business, I want you to think of me. Right? And that's what she succeeded in doing in a way that would have you would have had to run TV ads to get this kind of coverage before. You'd be having to take... 10 pages out of the local real estate guide in the, in the Saturday or Sunday newspaper to get this kind of stuff. And she does it all absolutely for free. And here's the best part about it. 
is that she doesn't really have to do much work anymore. It's once she got to a certain tipping point, now everybody wants to know her. Everybody's sending her friend requests. Everybody's listening to her stuff and then reposting it, showing her to be the leader in her community, showing her to be that position of authority, and, that, and showing her to be somebody that you can like, that you can trust, and that you can do business with. So what Christie's done is she's taken engagement to a whole next level, and she's a role model for you to follow. Right? This is somebody, she's a 26-year-old young woman who's really worked out how to do it. It's really that simple. Right? And all she is is she's just being herself online, and she's just taking care of stuff. Right? That's actually a heat map. This just quickly shows you what people look at. So when you talk about engagement, you really want to make sure your best stuff is up here when you post things. That's what people are going to see. I'm also going to look at your profile picture, by the way. I uh, just thought I'd show you that really quickly. So what does it all mean? Just so, just so everybody knows, that's where people, those green spots are, yeah. when people visit your page, that's where they kind of tend to go, their eyes go, and their, their, the, their eyes follow their mouse, so typically their mouse is sitting wherever their eyes are, just so you know. That's it, yeah. yeah. So your profile picture is very, very important, everyone. Very important. Your timeline design is good, but this is the post that you, this is your best piece of real estate for you to take advantage of. So you need to pin stuff and highlight it and do all that kind of thing. So when we talk about what to post, and that maybe we start with what not to post, like don't spam, no caps, don't talk about your real estate business all the time, don't say things like, um, you know, nothing's better than a referral for me, that kind of stuff. People aren't interested in it. They just turn off to it. So if you go and you post all salesy stuff, like Mike Mueller says, and if you post all MLM stuff or get rich quick stuff, he just knows who to unfriend and who to unsubscribe from. Right? Ask these easy questions. Right, so here's Chris Smith when he was the tech savvy agent, and I keep him up there because he does it so well, even though this is uh, you know, a little bit of an outdated post. He just asks a lot of questions, like, what do you call yourself? Now, what do you do? Uh, where did you go to school? Uh, what's your favorite TV show? What's your favorite color? I mean, they easy questions that you can give an easy answer to. So the people really respond to that. And always ask for likes and interaction. So when I say to you engage with people, you're going to reach out to them on the one hand. You comment. You interact with them. You just kind of get these conversations going. And on the other hand, when you post stuff on your pages and on your wall and on, on your profile, just do things that make people interact with you. Because when they do, Facebook sees it. They think that now with their edge rank uh, algorithm that they have, that people are interested in what you're saying. And then they start to transfer or publish your messages through to your friends. So that increases the amount of people that see what you do. So you don't want to post something and nobody sees it, right? So you want to make sure that you get as much engagement and interaction on your stuff as possible. And I know I'm flying through this, and that, but Scott is recording it, so which is great. Also, ask a lot of like friendly questions, like you know, what's the best pizza place? Is it Pizza Place A or Pizza Place B? Is it Domino's, you know, or is it Pizza Hut? Is it Lefty's Pizza or is it Marco's Pizza Palace? Right? People will have a strong, easy, emotional opinion about it, right? They'll, you know, and they'll answer, and they'll inter engage, and they'll interact with you like crazy. Any local news and event about people, this is a little uh, video I took of a local chili competition. Man, these people still talk to me about this, right? And this was about three years ago, I think, we had this event. And that they love seeing themselves on your page. They love being tagged. They love seeing pictures of themselves and videos of themselves. If you do that and you put it up on your pages or on your profile, they'll come and look at it and they'll like you for it, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. If you're going to do real estate and you must do some real estate at some time, just make sure that you put your opinion into it. So don't say, here's the local statistics for the last quarter. Tell them what it means. All right? Don't say, um, IBM is closing down in our local area and we're going to lose 2,800 jobs. Tell them what that means, what you think is going to happen to prices. If there's short sales in the area, tell them how this affects prices in their area. If a large employer moves to your area, tell them what areas you're kind of excited about to have real estate in because a lot of executives for this large employer will be moving there. Like, for example, ConocoPhillips is moving people into, they're moving 10,000 people into a campus locally that they bought, right? That means 
that's a lot of housing people are going to need in specific areas. Okay, so you explain to them what that means. I'm in Colorado right now. There's wildfires like crazy, right? So there's you know there's hundreds and hundreds of homes that have been lost. That means that's a real opportunity for a real estate agent in Colorado Springs, as an example, to really talk about the best places to get rentals quickly where they can move in, move in rendy, because people need to stay somewhere, right? Or to talk about hotels that are not gouging people, that have agreed to keep their prices really, really low, and to commend them and talk about them, and then also talk about the hotels that just raise their prices threefold because they're making a killing now of an unfortunate incident like that. If you talk about stuff like that in relation to the real estate market and where you can stay and what to do, people love that kind of stuff, right? So definitely add your commentary. And I, I want to give you a very, very quick tip here. I want to move off engagement as quickly as possible and get to number three for you. But add a link and an image when you post. Right? I want to show you a little trick here, which is this is a friend of mine, Jeff Wilson. And what he did is he tagged me in a post. right? And he added a little picture and an image. So what he was able to do with that very cleverly, and he's like a local marketing guy, so he's, and he's pretty savvy, is he was able to hijack this premier space on my page, which means you can do the same thing with your friends and get your content featured, uh, sorry, featured prominently on their page. See what Jeff did? He just tagged me, so he put Ross here, him and I are friends, so it popped up, and he posted it, he actually posted it on SMN Cam. But it ended up coming onto my personal profile in the top left-hand position, which is kind of the primary space that people are going to look at. So he effectively found a way to expose himself to all of my network as well. So when you go and you post on other people's pages, and a way to get onto their profile, sorry, is just make sure you tag them, include a link and a picture, and Facebook will give it this preferred position because visually it's very attractive to people to see a picture, right? So this is a way that Jeff is able to reach my 5,000 friends completely without my permission, actually. He just basically hijacked my page in a nice way. I'm not, I'm not being negative there. You can do the same thing. So if there's a power tip for you today about posting, make sure that you tag people by writing their names in. And when you start to write their name in, Facebook will give you a little drop-down box with a list of all your friends. Uh, and it'll start to eliminate them until you have like the right person right there. Okay, so there's a real power tip for you to do. Definitely try and practice that. And be very, very visual. Right? Here's a, this is Bill Holt. Uh, he's my partner on a page in uh, the Outer Banks. And what's really cool about this, so it's the Outer Banks, North Carolina, is he posts a lot of these pictures. Like here's a great picture. Here's a great picture. And here's a cool thing. He didn't take any of these pictures. He basically just shared them from other people's sites. This is a local artist. This is kind of like a local interest group that's there uh, that's promoting the area. And he just shared them. And what it does is it just generates all this kind of traffic. So this is great. So what Bill did, this page is less than six months old. And he's already getting this kind of reach, 1,400 wow. likes. And that over half a million kind of ex people in the extended network. Uh, because people share this visual stuff, right? people talking about it. See this? This page is less than six months old. Now, three years ago, these wouldn't have been exciting figures because we could grow things much, much quicker. Uh, now it's, you know, people are, uh, are more deliberate about what they like and how they interact with things. But look at these weekly reach, 17,000 people, right? That's pretty amazing. That's amazing. How do you reach 17,000 people? This is Bill. And when you meet Bill, let me tell you, Bill is Bill is socially awkward, in my opinion. You know, I shouldn't have said that because you're recording it, right? He has a quirky sense about him that's very different to a lot of people. A lot of people don't get him to begin with, but when you get to know him, he's a fantastic guy. So he's a real estate agent in the other banks. He's just worked out that people love pictures, and they love great pictures. He doesn't know how to take them, so he just shares them from a local artist. So he looks for artists on Facebook in his local area and he shares their picture. He already has permission to do it. They want him to do it and then they write to him and thank him for doing it. And of course what do they do is then they tell all their people, look, Bill is sharing all my stuff because it's so cool. So you see how viral it gets and how it yeah. goes around? Yeah. Same thing with local small businesses, uh, same thing with local high school teams and um, 
chambers of association and parades and events, if you do it, they actually see you doing it and then they start telling everybody, look how cool I am because you did this for them, right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. All right, and so Bill just absolutely crushed it. Here's a picture that Christy took. She didn't even take it either, by the way, but she did get a photographer of this. This is a sunset view of Austin. But look at this, 2,500 likes, 7,100, sorry, 71 comments, 294 shares. Wow. And that's just crazy, wow. right? So I can you imagine can't the number of the reach of the people that she connected with. Oh, it's crazy, right? Yeah. So, you know, when to post, I'm not going to tell you when. you just got to work that out. It's going to be different for you. And that but all I want to tell you is just post constantly, just post great content and do it all the time, right? That's really the gist of what we're talking about here. Just post content, make sure it's quality, and make sure it's consistent, and you do it constantly. So I'd say on Facebook, definitely comment and like and do stuff. Spend, definitely spend 15 minutes a day doing that. All right, at some point... And that what happens is that whenever you post stuff, people will start to share it for you, and um, you'll you'll have to do less and less work, particularly on your groups and pages. And then one other key I want to give you is if somebody says something or posts something or comments on something you do, reply to them immediately. Yes. It's just basically an acknowledgement from you to them. The acknowledgement can be something as simple as you liking their comment. So just say you put a great picture up there, like like we have here, right? So it's a, a cool picture of the Austin skyline, and then somebody posts a comment on it, and it's like, oh, that's a beautiful skyline. That's I love living here. Just like their comment, something as little as that, because Facebook will send them a notification saying, hey, you like their comment. And guess what happens when you compliment people? They, they, right? they reciprocate. Yeah, they like you. Yeah, they like you, exactly. Yeah, yeah. like, oh, I, I like you. Yeah. All right, so that's engagement. I need to jump off engagement quickly because we're, we're kind of we're pushing a timeline here. I want to get to kind of stuff you can do uh, kind of long term and then today. And that, but just look at the, these are tips. You can write these down when you kind of watch um, the, uh, the replay in that as well. Okay, so number two is I want you to kind of connect. I want you to connect with your community. So remember I said to you engagement is kind of like a one-on kind of thing where, you know, you're it's kind of a conversation between you and somebody else, right? Now there are ways that you can effectively leverage that to speak to many, many more people. But if you, in terms of in, in connecting with your community, I try and drive everybody into pages and groups. And the reason I do that is because I want to really mass communicate with them mainly. Because I can't afford to have a thousand conversations a day with people. I just don't have time for that, right? Okay, so like I said, I have a massive social network. And I just don't have time for that. So what I try and do is I try and push them into places. I kind of like herd them into groups and into pages. And, that, and really what it's about is I have to find something that they want to be herded into. Right? They're not going to let me push them into a page they're not interested in. Right? So they're not going to come to a page about my real estate business because it's just not interesting to them. So what I try and do is I try and push them into stuff that is very, very community focused. And for me, it's all about local areas. All right, so my target prospects live really within 15 miles of my house because that's my own little small town where I live, right? So I want to bring all those people into a place where I can then kind of communicate with them by simply sending one message that goes to all of them. So that's kind of my strategy. And what I found and that is when I do that, it creates all this authority and trust and leadership. So people then start reaching out to me and they want to give me their business, right? So I don't even have to ask for it anymore. They want to give me their business. They reach out to me. There's, you know, there's somebody flying in from Kansas City today, and I, who, who I, you know, I don't know her, and that, but she's part of one of our Kansas groups. She found out I was in Boulder, uh, and she's moving into this area, and she's flying out today, and we're going to show her a whole bunch of houses. Actually, I'm not even showing her the houses. I've got my real estate, local real estate partner here, and I refer all my business out now, right? So they're showing them some houses, so which is great. You know, I'm looking forward to that referral commission. Right. So what you really got to focus on is you've got to turn your community type marketing into radio WIIFM, and who knows what that stands for, right? I'm sure Scott knows radio WIIFM. Uh, what's in it what? for me? I'm learning something here, so you're gonna have to tell me. Yeah, what's in it for me? Okay, yeah, right. that's what so, I thought, but I didn't, I didn't want to blow your cover, man. 
Yeah. yeah. So of course, you know, you can tell right now that Facebook is all about people's activities, what they're doing, what they like, where they're going, where they've been, what they're going to be up to. You know, it's all about them, right? It's very kind of self-centered. So you can tap into that and cater to it. So if you say to them, "Hey, I'm in a great, I'm a great real estate agent, and you should go and like my page," well, there's nothing in it for them. But if you say to them, "Hey, this amazing ice cream at this ice cream place," and you should really go and get it, or there's these amazing deals here. There's an 80% sale on on ski equipment at the Boulder Ski Shop, and that they're going to go and, and interact with that. And if they can see their name and their face on there as well, they they're going to even interact anymore. So what I really try to do is I create these community-facing groups uh, where I let people, I talk about local issues and local events and, and what's happening in their lives, and they really respond to it. And I'm able to really leverage that. You know, nothing, you know, look at the, you know, we can create these little groups. We've got, a whole, you know, like I said, over a thousand groups set up. Many, many of them have now a thousand plus members in them where we're all talking to each other. Some of our pages are crazy. You know, this is Christie's page of 196,000 people, right? But you know, we've got many, many pages with fantastic engagement on them, and that you get all these comments and this interaction, and you can really use it to do exactly what I said before, where you can connect with every local homeowner, instantly send them a message anytime, as often as you want, and you can do it for free. And groups and pages help us do that. But the key to the groups and the page is that they must be about the community. So you need to get over yourself and do community-focused stuff. It can also be about interests. So if you're in an area that's well known for some kind of local activity, uh, so let's say if you were in New York City, it's very well known for dining and entertainment and fashion and stuff like that. If you're in the beach somewhere, you know, you're in a seaside community, It'll be well known probably for golf and sailing and fishing and surfing and just hanging out on the beach and you know it'll be known for that. Uh, if you're in a mountain resort, that's well known for skiing, as an example. See all these interests and activities, all right? So if they're well known for this kind of stuff, you can really cater to that as well. I tend to focus on 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 area-based stuff because I want to meet people in local areas. Right? So you can do that. And another quick tip to that is when you set up your, your community-focused stuff, all right, just make sure that you link everything back to your blog. So you should have a blog up because what it does is it just, it just creates this virtuous circle for you where you drive a lot of people from Facebook, it's the greatest traffic source in the world, into your blog. And when you do that, they get to meet you in your environment. So here's a post by Christy Owen at 365 Things to Do in Austin. And I like to use Christy because she does it so well. Right, and you just look and you can see what she's doing here is that this is her blog post over here and she did that and she shared it onto Facebook. So this is what it looks like on Facebook, right? And you can see what happened. It's kind of like crazy. Like look at how many people like this. Okay? It's like crazy. So this is on her blog. So guess what that means? She's getting all this traffic to her blog. You know, over three thousand people to her blog, right? And, that, and you can see what's happening is when she posts it onto Facebook. You can see now this is kind of like a nice risque kind of title, all right? World Naked uh, Bike Ride Day in Austin, which is great. And that 297 people, you can imagine visuals very good there, although that's a little bit cheeky right there, I think. <laughs> you <know? laughs> and then you can see how many people like it, all the views, the comments. You know, people share this kind of stuff, right? But she's harvesting all this traffic back into her blog. Isn't that amazing? It is all right, amazing. So now, basically, she has this page that's set up of cool things to do in Austin, people are interacting with it and they're ending back up on her blog where they get, she gets to talk about real estate and all the cool things that she does and how she can help them and that kind of stuff, which is pretty amazing. And I just, I pulled this old slide up, she's at 196,000 people, just because I love that word, yowza. I mean, yeah, look at all the people crazy. that like her stuff, wow. right? She's that's a 26 year old young woman who's just crushing it. Okay. Do you have any idea she's how much she throw does she interact and stuff with the people that um that oh, absolutely. 196,000 so how often does is she a real estate agent? 
Yeah, she's a real estate agent. So how so does she throw up stuff about her real estate company or, or testimonials or? She mixes it in, and what she does is every time she needs more work into the pipeline, she yeah. chucks out some real estate stuff. Then she takes care of them, and then she does it again. But what happens for her, though, is that people know she's in real estate. She doesn't even have to talk about it because when they look at her profile and they yeah. hover over it, they can see who she works for. They yeah. can see what she does. She can see in the about section who she is. So they kind of reach out to her. And okay. particularly people moving into Austin, they, they don't know anybody. And they see she's an agent. They see she's connected. They say, hey, Christy, I'm moving to Austin. Or, hey, Christy, my son is going to the University of Texas next semester. Uh, do you know where? I'd, I'd like to buy an investment property for him and a few of his friends that I can wow. rent to them and then keep. Right? Wow. She's getting a lot of that kind of business. But you know what? I can tell you one thing about Christy. She's getting so much business from everything else that's out there where she's selling a lot of advertising and stuff. She's making a small fortune right now by leveraging her traffic for not just real estate but other stuff. Wow. She's actually so successful that she, it's easy for her to just people are throwing money at her, which is great. <laughs> you can do that with yours as well, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, if you need a, a quick blog, free realty blog is a place you can kind of go and grab a blog straight away if you haven't. Uh, done when you just got to pay for the hosting, but they'll set everything up for you. Or even let's just take a little town, right? So actually, I actually live in this little town. It's called Niwot, Colorado. It's just, a, it's actually technically it's not a town. It's in Boulder County. We've got about 4,000 people here, and Boulder, the city of Boulder, limits are just a few miles down the road from me. We're a nice little bedroom community, right? About 4,000 people. And that, but look at the kind of numbers. So 4,000 people in my little town which isn't even really a town, but it does have a, a right. great identity. So 4,000 residents, and I think we've got about 16, 1,700 people are on the page right now yeah. okay, and, and linked into our groups. That's about 50% of the adult population, right? the economically viable population I'm after. All right, my page is run by my, the Niwot Business Association. They pay somebody to do everything on my page for me. Right. Wow. So not only do I not have to do any work on it, but the Niwot Business Association pays somebody to run my page, right? Wow. I mean, so you can see you how I'm leveraging my time. You set it up, and today I'm getting a lot of activity, a lot of interaction, and I got almost 50% of the of the adult population on this page. Do you guys want? Are you guys interested? Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Okay. So, that's what happened. You know, so they run it for me, right? So I just pick out all the real estate stuff out of it. And the average home value here, you know, average home price, just over half a million dollars, which means a buy side or sell side commission is worth $15,000. Wow. Right? Out of one little page. All right? So of course I'm very interested in that. Yeah. If I got one deal a year from it, it would be worth it for me. It would be I don't have to do anything. But of course, you know, we do better than that. You probably get one a month, huh? Months, you know months. what? Like I said, we you know I, I refer it all out now. Oh, you do. Okay, it's, good. It's fantastic, right? It's right. absolutely fantastic. And I'm trying to do the same thing in every town, Scott. Just okay. so you know, so that's kind okay. of my real, real model there. I want to really leverage social media. And so you just see that you just got to find a couple of rainmakers. For me, this is this was the um, the social media advisor for the business association, and you can make that happen. So if you've got rainmakers out there people in your local area who connected to 5,000 people in your local area or more through their pages, right, and you become friends with them and you end up doing stuff together, well, you can make, you, you can make things explode immediately in terms of growth. And this kind of thing is very, very achievable. And I'll just, I just wanted to show you this as well. And that you can also add your real estate into your pages, right? So here's Christy's page. She's adding home search in. That's what it looks like. Right, so she just generates a lot of leads out of this. So people, you, she just customized her tabs to do that. Uh, you know, it's pretty easy if you with Remax as an example to add search into the box. It's really easy to do. Uh, I'm sure Scott will bring somebody on to show you exactly how to do that. It's really easy to do. And again, just remember my part tip: use all the stuff. Always be trying to get an email address. Right. So here's Sharon McNamara from Boston Connect. This is kind of like a little email capture form she has. She's always trying to get email addresses. She went from being an agent in her office to starting her own brokerage. She has almost 25 people working for her. She's won countless rewards, and she did it all in 12 months, and she owes it all to social media. Wow, all right. of the social media. 
to just leverage it. She's like a little. Wow. She's a, she just took a camera everywhere, her iPhone, and she just filmed things and posted them up. And next thing you know, everybody was coming to her sites. And here's my best tip for you for 2012. Right? I'm giving you my power tip for 2012. If you set up a group, you can add all your friends to the group. You don't have to invite them. You can add them to the group. Yep. Now there are some notification settings which which affect that, but generally you can add them to the group. If you've got 5,000 friends, you can start a group tomorrow for your local area and you can add 5,000 people to them. So go and get 5,000 friends first, right? Because you can only add yep. friends. Yep. All right. So what if you did that and then you got five other people in your area who were just like you, highly connected, and you, got, you brought them into the group as well because they want to meet everybody in the town, and they added their 5,000 friends. Next thing you know, you've got a group of 30,000 people in it, and you can do that literally in two to three days. Wow. Okay, now wow. I'm giving you an, a diabolically extreme example, <laughs> yeah. right? Right. Okay, you know, right. so it's not, it's not going to work like this. Right. But I promise you, when you set up groups and pages and people start to join, everybody wants to be your friend because yeah. they know you have access into the town. A local insurance agent spends all their time schmoozing the town, you know, trying to be helpful and because you know, nobody likes insurance, right? So they, they get involved in all these community activities and you know, they're manning the pancake breakfast and the water stops and you know, they're doing all this incredible work because they want to meet everybody. So if you've got 5,000 people on your page, everybody will want to be your friend. No question. Right. And it's free. It's okay. free. So, so, so would you recommend starting a page or a group? Or start like working on the friends first, and then start a group. Uh, you want to start your page and your group straight away. It has to be community focused, and yeah. every single day you got to work on getting five more friends. Five more, okay, okay. Yeah, just work on it every day. At some point, when you get say three to five hundred friends, you won't have to work on it anymore. They'll all be trying to be your friend. They'll all Correct. be reaching out to you Correct. if you're posting constantly. Right. So that was kind of a long-term strategy. Set something up for the town, like I have basically the official Facebook page for my town. It's facebook.com forward slash NIWOT, N-I-W-O-T, and it is run by my town, and it's my page, which is great. All right. Yep. So for now going forward, I am the person who's going to harvest all the real estate business that comes out of Facebook for my town. Okay. Let me tell you, there's, there's a local real estate agent who sits on all the all the councils and boards and committees and meetings and that and she worked out what I've done she's mad as a snake <laughs> uh, she's mad she didn't think of it I bet she is <laughs> she's also mad that I own nywhatrealestate.com yeah but it's, yeah but it's one thing to think about it but it's another thing to do it you know what I mean exactly you, you actually did it so all right so you've got to do the same thing yeah. all right and so we're definitely really tight on time so I'm going to focus in on this so here's my power tip number three for you in terms of finding friends. All right, and sorry, finding new business today. And you can do this 15 minutes after this call. You'll have your first client, or Scott will eat his hat, right? Right. Okay. On video. Listen. Listen to the conversation. There are billions of conversations happening on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tagged, Pinterest, happening right now, and people are saying things where they're actually asking for help. They're saying, I am moving to Boulder, I'm moving to Austin, I'm moving to Pittsburgh, I need help, right? Who can help me find a place to stay? Um, or, you know, I mean, can you imagine what's happening in Colorado Springs right now? No, can you imagine what people are saying on social networks and that who've just had their house burnt down? Yeah. What is that? And they're, they're saying things like, you know, oh my goodness, um, I, I, I don't know where we're going to be staying tonight, you know? Um, I don't know what we're going to do. All right, there are people that, now that's an extreme example. Those are people that need help and they need it now. Okay, and then the people are saying, oh, great news. John got that new job in Dallas, uh, but we have to be there by the first of the month. What, what do you think that means? That means they're leaving one place. That's a real estate opportunity. And they're moving to another. That's a second real estate opportunity right there. So if they're moving from New York to Los Angeles, that means you can, and you're in Los Angeles, that means you can find them someplace in Los Angeles, but it also means you can refer them to a colleague in New York to sell their house right, and get a referral commission there as well. 
So listen to that conversation and the tools to do it. So just like, as an example, the, the FBI or the Department of Homeland Security can monitor millions of conversations and online kind of traffic looking for kind of subversive words. I maybe shouldn't have even said the word subversive because they might be tracking me now, right? <laughs> I might, I might have just gone onto a list, <laughs> and that, but one, just like they can do it, you can do it as well. I mean, you're just as powerful as them because you have the same tools, right? So, you know, to do that though, you need some kind of dashboard so you can listen and organize it. And I'll show you some of the tools in a moment. I use a dashboard called Hootsuite, which is Hootsuite.com, and that allows me to kind of have a social media dashboard where I can see everything that's happening. I can also manage multiple accounts. Guys, I'm sorry, I can see my, I can really hear my voice kind of cracking up here. But you can manage everything. I can see what's happening on Word, WordPress, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. I can push messages all over the place. I can do all those cool things. But what I can really do is I can listen for buyer and seller keywords. Right? So when somebody says, I'm moving to Pittsburgh, somebody says, um, I need to go house hunting again this weekend, or somebody says, I just went to an open house, and or somebody says, oh, I really need a new home, or I went and saw these great new homes in this community, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And that I know that they're looking. That's a buying and selling signal for me, right? And on the flip side, you know, from the seller side, when they want to start selling their house, and that they need, they're going to start saying, talking about things which are a little bit different, like I need a realtor, or I'm thinking of calling a realtor, or we're thinking of listing a house, and that, oh, I need to upgrade the, repaint the house, I need to, does anyone know a good landscaper? Because they know, these are things that indicate they're about to start selling. You know, all, they, all these things where you know they're a little bit motivated. They're not going to say, hey, I'm facing foreclosure, but they're going to start to get interested in conversations about things like short sales or deeds in lieu, that kind of stuff, right? They're going to get more interested in those conversations, and you can start to find them indirectly that way as well. Right, so when somebody goes in and says, I'm moving to Boulder, you can just go onto Facebook and do a search. Just type in the keywords moving to and put the name of your town. All right, so this is people, this is a, you can see they start to talk about, like Zach Myers, I might be moving to Boulder. So I've got a scholarly, so a scholarship to the University of Colorado. This guy's going to need some rental. All right, he's going to probably rent. So that means, and that if I'm in the rental business, I'm in a student town uh, where there's a lot of rental business, particularly kind of university rent, college rentals, um, I can, this is a guy I can tap into straight away. Right? It's easy for me to reach out to him and touch him and send him a message or reply to his post or his comments. All right? Okay, it's really, it's really, really simple to do that. Okay? Or somebody say they're apartment shopping. So there's a key word, apartment shopping, or apartment looking, looking for apt, A-P-T, that kind of stuff. So you can monitor all those keywords all right, and you can start to follow them. Okay? It's pretty easy to do. It's really easy to reach out to them. They'll reply, you've now initiated the conversation. This was somebody who was moving to, to Denver. All right, and I you know, and so I want to find them because I know they're moving to Denver. I want to refer them to my partner in Denver, right? So basically it's easy for me to reach out and send a message, say, Oh, you know, it's a pretty cool place. And then she's obviously gone and looked at my profile to see that I'm in the Boulder area. All right, and that, so the conversation started. Okay, so it's pretty easy to do. Of course, you've got to be careful. You know, I, I mean, a guy, an, an old guy with a bald head like me, it's, it's you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to look like a creep. So you've got to be careful how you do it, but it's really not difficult. It's just common sense. The key is you've got to find something they're interested, and that becomes your point of reference. All right. And then, so somebody like Ashley would be, she's moving to Denver. Um, here's another one. Um, here we go, life is good. I just showed you that just to show you that. Look, I mean, they're, they're young, attractive woman, right? And they're moving to Denver. They're probably interested in nightlife, cool places to go out and things to do. Or they may be like they're very athletic or they're into skiing, you know, obviously in Colorado. And that's fine. But if somebody is you know, in a different kind of demographic, they, and they've got three children, and the husband's moving to a new executive job in the area, they're going to be interested in things like schools, um, local parks and amenities, and shopping and childcare, and you know, things like that. They're going to have completely different interests. 
you can have that information readily available for them to tap into. Like, here's a list of the best schools in the area, or this is the local high school that just was voted the second best school in the state. That kind of stuff, information, they are going to connect with you on that for sure, right? Yep. Which is very, very cool. All right. You can really drill down into the local level, and, and I'm kind of really near the end here, Scott, so we're close to wrapping yep. up. Good. So you can really drill down to that local level. Okay, so like for example, if you're in a bigger city, so Denver is a bigger city than say, you know, the little, little town of Boulder. So Denver's got very specific neighborhoods. One of them's like Washington Park. It's colloquially referred to as Wash Park. Right? And it's people like this. It's uh, got a nice lunch ride around Wash Park. It's got a little bicycle track around it, a running track. Okay? So this is somebody I know who's local. Right? So this is easy for me to reach out and connect with this person. Now I found somebody local. Right? I know they're from that local area because they're riding. They either work there or live there. Okay? I'm going to walk around Wash Park today with a baby. All right? So he's dull face uh, charisma. <laughs> That's a funny name. But the point is, A, I know she lives locally. She's going to walk around the park, and she's just got a baby. So she may need more space, right? So these are just little buying and selling signals that are there. But if nothing else, this is a way for me to identify that this is a local person who I can connect to. Yeah, right, and get them to stop friend, them. Yeah. yeah, if I've got a great page or group for Wash Park, and then I could actually send her a link. Say, hey, all the moms gather at 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. They do a moms <laughs> and babies walk, right? Right, right. All right, right. And she, she's going to respond to me with that kind of information. Absolutely. Right? So I don't have to be the creepy guy. Anyway, the bottom line is set something up. Listen for anything to do with your town or your favorite neighborhoods because it's great content for you to repost, reshare, and to find people who live in the local area and to find those buying and selling signals. And then add those buying and selling signals, moving to that kind of stuff like I showed you right there. All right, so just to end off, let me give you this, a couple of other cool tools. I use a tool called Social Mention. You can go into Social Mention and it searches all of these social media sources. Look at them. So, you know, problem with, wow. with Hootsuite, it's a little limited what it searches. But look, YouTube at the end, they actually ask um, Reddit, and, yeah, Photo yeah. Bucket, Stumble Upon, uh, you know, I mean, Google, I mean, so this, it's everything. So this Twitter, is where you Yahoo. would search for those keyword terms is what you're talking about? Yeah, so just okay. jump okay. in there, punch in social mention, and you know what? Wow. And you can use currently as well with a K. You can also just hit that little subscribe button. So it's pretty cool. So how easy it is to do that as well. Yeah. And um, you can also use a lot of location-based tools within the social networks. Like as an example, Twitter allows you to kind of do local-based search for people in. So I'm doing a search for Boulder. And I can actually go in. I can look at my location. I can just extend my range. And I can see all these people, what they have in common. They live in Boulder, basically. Wow. It's my target market. I want to connect with them. All right, the other ones were promotions, applications, and Facebook ads, but none of them are really important um, for you right now. We don't, definitely don't need to get into that. But I'll tell you what I will do. Let's just end off. Let's just do a real quick practical example. Let me just open something up real quick. Let's go into social mention. So why, why doesn't somebody write their town in the box, and we'll do a quick search. Socialmention.com. Social mention is a little slow, unfortunately. Give me one name of one town in there. Do uh, Kalamazoo. Oh, here, oh, crap. You just got a bunch of them. Anaheim, okay. California. All right. Let's do moving to Austin. It just popped up. Okay. I'll do, and then we'll do Kalamazoo. See? And we'll add. Like I said, the only thing about social mention, it's a little slow. You know, and also, guys, this is live. So, uh, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm not responsible for some of the opinions expressed by <laughs> some of the people who will post in here. Correct, correct. <laughs> All right, so if there's a little bit of bad language or something, I'm, I'm sorry about that. All right. So, and this poll is just from, now you, you already have it triggered to poll from... Well, I just typed it in. I typed in moving to Austin. Okay. So let's just check uh, uh, moving, missing cat, recording students, moving on session. That's fine. We'll find some real quick. Fires. That's, kind of, that's weird. It's kind of pulling through from Blogger for some reason. Uh, let's find some. Uh, here's a guy that's actually looking for people moving to Austin, so he's getting proactive. Yeah, he did a video. Holy smokes. Yeah. Here's another guy getting very proactive. So people are kind of tapping into the stuff. 
Okay. Yeah. Somebody, uh, Douglas is asking, do you like clout? C-L-O-U-T? You know, I don't really use clout that much, guys. Okay. Um, it, it's funny. I mean, I don't really use it that much. So here's someone moving to Austin. Uh, it's a picture of them moving. Actually, I've got a social mentions results that are a little strange here. They're really pulling in some strange places. All right, so it's just it's there. So just troll through them. There's thousands of links in there. You'll get to the good ones really, really quickly. Uh, if I quickly dropped into Facebook, we do a quick live search. So here's uh, Carmen's asking. Uh, I've, uh, I like most realtors who started my. I'm like most realtors who started my page and have a ton of realtors on my page. Should she start a new page? I, I wouldn't recommend doing that. It sounds like a lot of realtors have joined her. And yeah, that's her that's cool. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about that, would you? No, I wouldn't worry about it. But remember, you want to get something that's about your community, right? Right. So it's going to be about your community. Let's just jump on to show more results. How much and time? Uh, he, uh, they almost, they also asked how much time do you need to invest in this once you have it up and running. So at the beginning, you've got to invest more time because you really have to do the work. You've right. got to be reaching out to people uh, all the time, right? So that's pretty cool. You've just got to do that kind of work. Um, <clears throat> but later on, you can bring people in to do that work for you. So once you have the group and you start to bring Rainmakers in, well, guess what? Everybody wants to be connected with you and get that access. So you can trade that off kind of like work for, for access kind of deal. Right? Right. And so as an example, uh, I've got the business association and doing works on, on my little local page. Right? And other pages I have insurance brokers and mortgage brokers and you know, other people who want to be connected locally, I have them in on my pages doing a lot of the work. And, and what I'm doing is I'm really just keeping a, a high profile, but I'm really sifting and kind of fishing for for those buying and selling signals. So in terms of time there, and then I you know I think you need to be spending about 15 minutes a day later on on your pages, but you have to kind of keep a constant watch on what's happening because it's such an immediate kind of reaction. And what I do is when I find someone who, because remember I, I view social media as a lead generation tool, right? I'm not trying to sell real estate on social networks because that's not going to work. I'm trying to find people who are thinking about it. Right. And so what I do is I drop them into lists, into little VIP lists, where I pay special attention to what they're saying online, okay. right, which is kind of pretty cool, if yep. that makes sense. Yep, absolutely. All right, so here's so, a quick one. I'm in Facebook. It's a public post. Uh, Joshua Bullock, uh, just to let everyone know, I'm selling all these pieces. I've got about a dozen at the moment. I'll be moving to Austin next month. Okay. Uh, anyone know one, anyone who's moving to Austin ago, soon? Live, and so we'll, twenty-two minutes ago, too. Yeah. Uh, any, it's, it's twenty-two minutes old, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyone know anyone who's moving to Austin soon or will need a roomie, preferably a female? So this is someone who's looking for a roommate. Roommate. Yeah. Uh, and just so everybody knows, you put parentheses around your search, and that's what it'll pull. So see how in the search yeah. there he has moving to Austin, but he has parentheses around it. You want to make sure and put the parentheses around there. All right, so here's a guy. Just so everyone knows, I'm not moving to Florida. I'm moving to Oxford, Texas. It's a better <laughs> fit for me. Be there in a week. So this guy just changed his mind. 13 hours right. ago. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, here's a guy not moving to Austin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song or something. That's funny. That's funny. All right, let's see. David. I want to post a picture of an event. Do I put it on my wall? Uh, you can do both. So you can put it on your personal profile. But you really want to get that activity going in your groups in a big and your pages in a big way. Pages are very visual right now, and when they, Facebook brought out the new timeline, did you notice how they? Uh, it's a lot more visual than before. Okay, now you notice how quickly Pinterest is growing. That's because the way we consume information is different now. We 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 are attracted to pictures and video basically, right? And so it's got extra weight. So just like Bill Holt did, he went out, he found a local artist in the Outer Banks, and I'm sure there's a lot of them living up there, such a beautiful area, and they have pages on Facebook where they post their gallery of photos and pictures and stuff. All he's doing is sharing it. Yeah. And so he's got this great visual material on his wall. But local events are huge, particularly if you go and you take pictures of people. And, and listen, everybody, I want you to walk around with your, your iPhone or your smartphone that has a camera in it, and just take pictures in the daily course of your business. As you're driving to work, take a picture. 
right, of some local event or landmark or something that just catches your eye. You know, I mean, I'm I'm looking yeah. out my window yeah. right now and I can see a big hot air balloon. Yep. Right. Yep. It's kind of interesting. There's it a is. you know the Rocky Mountains in the background, and I'm looking at a hot air balloon. Actually, and I'm looking at a, a plane, a jet stream with one, a great kind of jet trail behind it, and the blue sky. Right. That kind of stuff is it's kind of interesting when you put that backdrop onto it. I have my little. Here's a yeah. here's a here's a great point. Somebody, uh, Maureen, she just left, and I just missed her. But so the toughest part is changing thinking and how I learn the business. When I am online, I don't feel like I am working. That's great, though. That 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 is that is great. Oh, that is great. Yeah. So that's. Yeah, that's I mean, great. it's it's easy for you to tweak it then, right? Because you're kind right. of enjoying it, right? right? If you're doing it that way, I mean, you're having fun and you're online and you you're hanging out. Uh, yeah. The bottom line, though, is that like like I showed you when you listen to the conversation, you can set up an RSS feed so that the moment that something happens, it's sent to you, right? So the moment somebody says something, you actually give them an alert saying, "Hey, somebody." use this keyword yeah. right, and it's sent to you so you can reach out to them instantly right, wow. and you can start to connect with them. Now do a little bit of social homework before you like kind of engage with somebody just go and look at their profile, see yeah, what they're interested in, what they want. Right. You know, if they're a big, uh, let's just say it's somebody moving from New York to, to Los Angeles right? and you can see that when you look at their page it's just plastered with David Jeter and Alex Rodriguez and Babe Ruth and so you know this guy's like a Yankees nut, right? Okay, all you gotta do is send them a little email saying, Oh man, you're really gonna miss the Yankees. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That kind of thing. That guy will tell you or just say to him, uh, you know, or you or particularly like a Boston fan, right? Yeah. You know, and you say anything about the Red Sox, they'll be all over it. <laughs> it's just so just find their find their little social button that you know just find that common ground that you can connect with and they will connect with you. It's just that simple. You'll make Very mistakes, cool. but that's okay. Yeah. How do you set up an R uh, somebody said ask how you set up an RSS feed and that's just going through social mention or currently, right? Currently.com? Yeah, so you can do it either that way or you can do it on on Hootsuite. Basically on Hootsuite okay. it just opens up all your tabs so you can literally have it there. You can have it on your iPhone. You can have it open right in front of you. If you're in a smaller town, you'll get less leads, but they'll be, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be highly targeted for you, right? So don't worry about being in a small town. You may need to expand your search more countywide. That's fine. It just, you know, it's just that's just the way your real estate market is. It's probably not as big as New York City and not as busy as New York City, right? But that's right, fine. Right. Uh, there's going to be less competition there. And right. you just want to be super connected. And then the flip side of that is I want to kind of leave you with this thought. When you have a page for your town that's just absolutely humming and thriving, when you have a group set up where people are talking and engaging, and all that kind of stuff's happening. When you have 5,000 people on your profile and you're all engaging and posting stuff between each other and it's all very active, what do you think's gonna happen when you go and sit down in a listing presentation? Yeah. And, and you sit down in front of your seller and you say that you're, you're a seller. celebrity. You're a local celebrity. Yeah, number one, how, you're a how local can they not work with you? Because you, like, you have, you, everybody knows you, you're yeah. everywhere. I mean, how can, exactly. I mean, they're, 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 they're going, okay, if I don't work with this person and I work with somebody else, I'm not going to get as much exposure because I know this person is going to put my home on that page which has 196,000 people. Yeah. How can How you can afford not to list How with me? How can you me? afford not to, yes. Yeah. I'm the one who's connected to this town. I'm the one who's in touch with what's, where our world's changing, the way marketing's changing, and what needs to be done. I'm the one that has harnessed the viral power of Facebook's one billion members. Yeah. yeah. There it is. You know, so yeah. it's almost like your listing presentation. Now, like I said to you before, if you can go out and you can afford to buy leads, yeah. and you can pay, uh, you can pay a hundred bucks for a lead, uh, buy ten of them, so that's a thousand dollars, and convert that into a fifteen thousand dollar closing. What I would recommend that you do is you take that fifteen thousand dollars commission and you buy as many leads as you can if they're converting like that, and you leverage it. But what 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 I know for sure is that in our industry. We either have time or we have money, and unfortunately, most of us have more time than money, right? Right, right. Here's a good question. If a page is called your town name, how do you get them to know you are the one behind it? Uh, first of all, they see you all the time, so when you post, 
you comment on everybody's. And, yeah. yeah, when you post, everybody sees you. So that makes it really, really easy. So they can see that when they look at the About section, you can kind of add stuff in there. So that's really easy to do. And that, the funny thing is, at the beginning, I don't like to let people know that it's my town. Yeah. Okay? So I try to kind of keep it quiet more because get more I want other join. realtors to join it and post and interact on it because I know that all of their their network's going to see it, right? Correct, correct. So when they post on my page and they share it with their friends, they're actually kind of pushing business a little bit my way, which I yeah. kind of like. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's an right, and so we'll end with this one. How often do you post a real estate listing or something to do with real estate? Still 80% personal, 20% real estate, or is it less? Yeah, you know, for me, it's that 80-20 rule is pretty good. Okay. Um, I don't post any listings on my personal page at all. I've stopped talking about kind of real estate stuff there. I, you know, I mean, I, people know what I do. And that, fortunately for me, is my, my profile is set up more as a social media profile than a real estate profile now, which is a little bit problematic, but that's fine, you know, because I, I don't want to be associated with real estate in one little town. I want to be associated nationally. Because um, I want to do real estate in every town. You know? Excellent. Ross, yeah. man, I, I cannot thank you enough for being here, man. I appreciate the information. and I, I get excited every time I talk to you, man. And this, uh, this strategy is, you know, you've, you've proven so much. There's so many different things. I mean, engage, connect, listen. Um, you, you replaced the door knocking. We had a question on our, one of our groups that said, hey, what, you know, what's a good time to door knock? You know, that, so this is better than door knocking. You can cover so much more ground and connect with people in a way that they're already there. You don't have to worry about if they're going to be home, if they're going to be offended, you know. That's kind of stalking, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Build the email list, build a massive list. Always be looking for emails, getting emails, talking, joining social media, some way, shape, or form connecting with them. And then um, you use Hootsuite, which is awesome, socialmention.com, and then currently.com. Just, I mean, all currently kinds with of... With a K, yeah. With, with, yeah, with a K, thank you. Currently, K-U-R-R-E-N-T. And I want to, uh, I'm going to take the screen from you just one second, just to remind everybody of our group, and Ross, I'll, you know, you're more than welcome to be a part of our group. Um, so if, you, if everybody goes to, if you're not, if you're still here and you, you're not part of the group, Ross, we got close to 500 members in our group. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. And uh, if somebody, you know, if you guys enjoyed what was, you know, kind of what we covered today, just give, you know, give Ross there a little bit of kudos, if you would, if you appreciate what we're doing here. And uh, we always like to give, you know, give back to those people that give to us and share with us all these awesome strategies. And Ross, uh, I'd love to have you as part of the group, man. And uh, look forward to uh, to more classes down the road, brother. It was great. Thanks so much for having me, Scott. Yeah. Thanks for all the great questions, everybody. Some of them were really good. Thank you. Absolutely. So uh, keep up the good work, man. I, I yeah. I'll hope to uh, meet you someday soon. And uh, have an exciting, safe, and uh, fun Fourth of July weekend, man. I, I, I gotta say, so, Scotty right. and Ross, that that was an amazing class. I I'm telling you, I, I've got it written down in big letters. It's taped already to my monitor. Engage, connect, and listen. It, it really is that simple. I mean, when you break it down in those terms for us, Ross, and I really appreciate you doing. It just really is that simple. And and, and it, I mean, just the the thought process behind it is just engage with people communicate with people and listen to what they're telling you and by doing that you're you're creating massive massive amounts of traffic and people who are seeing you you're growing your brand by leaps and bounds because the just the sheer number of people who you've engaged with who you've connected to and now you're listening to for those triggers it's great stuff you know, and I, I took you know, it a Paul, step further I was think yeah I took it a step further yeah. off I actually yeah. already have a Facebook group and fan page that I did while you were talking on Facebook yep. called 365 Things to Do in Kalamazoo, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, yeah. taking action right there, baby. <laughs> but just, just think of this one little thing, this one little analogy, right? So you're in the real estate industry. You're sitting at the local coffee shop uh, or local restaurant, and the table right next to you, which is too close to you. I don't know why restaurants do that, but it's too close to you. You can hear what they're talking about. And then one guy is talking to the other guy, and he says, yeah, 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 uh, you know, my, my cousin's coming, my you know, my brother's moving, uh, he's moving into town, which is great, so I need to start kind of helping him out, finding him a, a place to stay. He'll probably start off at our place, and then we'll, he, he wants to buy a house, you know, but just, he's got his on the market right now in, in Kalamazoo, right? Yeah. And you're sitting there, and you all you want to do is lean over and say, oh, <clears throat> excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help but overhear <laughs> that. And, and, you know, so there's that, 
So you've just heard that conversation, right? Yeah. Okay. Now imagine that conversation's happening uh, in the building next door to you, or at the table three tables away from you. You can't hear it, right? You just right. you can't hear it. You're not close enough to hear it. it's not happening right there in front of you. But with social networking, you can set up all your little listening tools so that you can listen to everything that's happening online mm -hmm. and, and filter it out. It's right, so how many times, yeah, how many times do you wish you could hear more conversations like that one at the table next to you? <laughs> yeah. That's what it is, right? The more you can hear them, the more the more business you're going to have, the more friends you're going to have, the more referrals you're going to have. The more times you can say, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I, I just happened to overhear what you were yeah. saying. <laughs> and and yeah. I could possibly help you with that. That is great right. stuff. Um, guys, I'm getting a lot of questions now coming in. Just remember this was recorded today, and if you'd yes. like a copy of today's recording, simply get with the loan officer who invited you to class today. They'll be able to get you the links and password to be able to get into the recordings. Um, if you don't know who that is, just shoot me a message, support at the Marketing Animals, and we'll get you hooked up with the right person. Excellent. excellent. All right, guys. All right, thank guys. you very much. Eh? Thanks, man. Take, t take care, buddy. We'll talk to you soon, man. Take care. Paul, have a safe fourth. We'll talk you, to you as buddy. well. And everybody stay safe this weekend, and we will see you right back here, same time, same place, next week on Tuesday. Absolutely. Take care. Bye-bye. See you. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected.